This AM radio intermediate frequency is 455 KCs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust both of these IF cans, four tank circuits all together, to 455 KC. And I'm going to be using a signal generator that's tuned to 455 KC and modulated with about a 400 cycle hertz tone. And I'm just going to run the signal from the generator through a capacitor and just lay an alligator clip with that signal on the AM radio's antenna. Now this is what we're after. A nice sharp peak for each four of those tank circuits and nicely in the middle. Now if we move off the center we'll notice that that tone will get weaker and of course when we move back to the center it'll get louder and if we go too far the other way it'll get weaker again. Now it's very important to use a weak signal as weak as you can get by with because if you activate the AVC circuit that tuning acts like this. Okay, if that AVC circuit is activated what's going on is that the Q of the tank circuit didn't change but when we go off center we don't see it because the AVC turns up the volume. So it's almost impossible to tune the radio when the AVC is activated. As that generator radiates into the antenna of the radio, we're going to have some frequencies come out of that converter. All of the RF frequencies, including our 455 KC, the oscillator frequency, and the sum and the difference of the above frequencies. Now we don't care about the sum and the difference and we don't care about the oscillator frequency. All we care about is the 455 KC coming from the generator. Okay, I've got my generator set on 455. That's all ready to go. And I have purposely detuned these IF cans randomly. And the uh, radio still plays, but not very well. And I'm going to turn this all the way up to the top, as far away from the... Uh, so I can get the oscillator as far away from 455 as I can. And I'm going to put the lead from the generator on the antenna and we'll start tuning this. Oh, oh I got the volume up all the way. Okay, this is the first IF and the top coil. I'm going to go down to the bottom coil. Okay, start getting weaker. Try this one. Start on the bottom coil. Okay. Now the top one. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to turn down the RF gain. Oh, that quite a bit of noise. still hear it. Now I turned down the RF gain quite a bit. I'm going to try tuning it again. Okay. And the top coil. Now I turned down the RF gain so it wouldn't activate the AVC. Okay, it's going down, up, down, or go about in the middle. That's what I'm doing on all of these. Turned off the RF generator. Turn down the volume now. In first place, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the <laughs> <laughs> on some of the overpasses and bridges. Inner and outer belt lines are in uh, pretty good shape between uh, Jones Franklin Road and Wade Avenue. And uh, then on South Mountain US 1, that looks like it's rolling well from Walnut Street to Tryon Road. An accident, though, on Page Road and Alexander Drive. And then in Durham, it's a collision on Gregson Street and Morgan Street. The new year's upon us, and today only, Peak Fitness is offering $9.99 in 2009. Group fitness, basketball, pools, 24 hours, free child watch, all for $9.99 a month. Call 834-8400. Limited time offer, 834-8400. Certain restrictions apply. With more traffic reports than anyone else, I'm Mike Edwards, News Talk 680 WPTF. Here's an WPTF forecast. Winter storm warning until 6. Temperatures near 30 this afternoon, 20 overnight. It's already been an interesting off season. <laughs> it's been a real crazy off season, man, because now you're actually looking at...